Alright everyone, this is Matt from Studio 41 and we are playing Super Mario Sunshine. And some interesting things I just have to do with this little intro just into the game, so enjoy. And I left subtitles on just for reasons. Alright, so as mentioned earlier, let's begin. Now, that is my old file. It's still... I just have to look for blue coins just to get 120 stars. I did it once some time ago, but I lost that file. But we're not messing with that one. We're going to start completely new. Yeah, if you hear any kind of ringing in the background or anything, that's just my phone. Um, it's just charging and I don't feel like getting up to turn it off. I'll probably do that eventually. Oops, so now our first thing is to find Flood, because we cannot clean this stuff off without his, without his help. Yep, so now we're just 
washing these off just for some practice. The funny thing was that when I first played this game at the demos that they would have at, say, like a Meyer or a Walmart, I actually had no clue how you actually were supposed to spray because every time they gave you, like, the demo, it was always in Bianco Hills, so you had no clue on how to play the game. And I just saw the X thing and I thought maybe that does something, but all I did was just switch these, so... Yep, it didn't take me, it took me until I actually bought or rented the game to actually figure out the controls. And the funny thing was that in this game, yeah, no coins came out of that one. But yeah, for this game, I actually got most of my progress done by renting it. And actually, this is the first game that when I was a kid, my parents made me buy because I rented it so much. That and from Hollywood Video, I think I got like think like a $30 or like it was some ridiculous amount of charge for like overdue because I I pretty much forgot that I had this game and I guess my parents forgot as well so yeah after getting the ridiculous charge for um, a late game they were just like yeah you're buying this game just so you don't have to rent keep renting it every week so we did and that's how I got this game I just cleaned them off, so. Yeah, so we're fighting our first little mini boss. These guys are pretty easy. I mean, all I do is just stand here, spray in the mouth, and that's really it. Interesting. Very action packed. Yeah, if you're, you're gonna probably gonna want, you're gonna be noticing that I'm pretty much gonna treat those kind of bosses that way. Because, I mean, there's really no point in having to do any acrobatic stuff. You know, this is a pretty simple boss. And we got our first shine. Fun fact, this is actually the first Mario game that when I played it, it was a Mario game I played all the way through. Now, I had played Mario 64 before this, but it was at a friend's house and I only played for maybe about two hours of it. And I had a Game Boy Mario game. I forgot what exactly was but I never played through it was just something I just picked up and played with just for a little bit Shine Gate. 
Hudson River feeds into the four quarters of the island, and most of the shining strike has fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the shining sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Malino, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve the situation. Yeah, so every time you enter a world, usually it'll show you an idea of where to go, just from those little intros. And as you can see, this is the only part with sunlight. And as I was doing earlier, I was just spraying those posters because they give you coins. Yep, so, first job is to go straight over to where the game wants us to go. clean up some things around here. Usually I just like cleaning up some some things just to give me like usually give me something to do that and well in some boss battles it's easier but I mean this one's the exact same as the airstrip one. Then on some occasions the people might reward you with things. But I think this early on though they're not going to reward you. It's been a while since I've played through this, as I remember I played through it a little bit last year while I was at Jess when he borrowed the game from me, though he never played it. But it's something to do. One of Toads. Yeah, you want to be careful with these things since they'll jump on you regardless of what you're doing. Right. Yeah, and as I mentioned, these things will those things will jump on you, so. And this is the portion where pretty much the whole plot of the game is pretty much broken. Because right now, everyone in the whole town can now see that there are two Marios chasing each other. And yes, you even run by the police and they see you there. Just let Peach stand here. Yeah, it's been a while since I played on this. Up. I used this controller last night to practice playing um, Super Monkey Ball 2, and for some reason, this controller is just really sensitive. Yeah, and that fall damage, though. Yep, and that's where we go into the first world. Which is Bianco Hills. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Peach, see what she has to say. 
I'll get to those two guys later. Nope, just wants you to chase him even though I already got him. Kinda. So yeah, going back to the whole Mario games. Not really a huge Mario fan, just... Yeah, I'm pretty much, like, I mean, I've just always been more of a Sonic fan than that, and we never owned an SNES or an NES growing up. And even to this day, I still don't own one. And although we did own an N64. We didn't actually, no, yeah, we didn't ever. I did own Mario 64. Though I own it now since I got it from, I believe, Jeff. Because I think he had a bunch of N64 games that he gave me because he just didn't play them anymore. It's also how I got Banjo Kazooie. And here we go. So, so far, I'm not completely sure at this point how I'm actually going to do all the editing for this. My initial thought is just try to do every world in just one thing, but I just think it's going to take too long because even though it doesn't seem like missions take all that long, some of them can be once you start getting later into the game. But anyways, I'll just... Play, I'm gonna play through this and you know and see whatever is a good stopping point. Cause I mean, although we don't get too much watch time, at least as of now, on when it comes to some of our let's plays, at least try to keep it like a good amount for people since we're still we're still getting there as a channel. And well, if you saw Jeff's stream a few weeks ago, I recently moved to South Carolina, so. Yep. So pretty much from now on, it, chances are we're probably not going to have any Studio 41 plays, at least not with me around. Unless, like, we somehow manage to get something going with Skype, but. All I can say is that chances are we're probably not all going to meet. And I mean, this is something I was kind of expecting for a while since. It's been really rough just this past year to get everyone to join up because everyone at school or they had just life in general. And since I was the last person in our group to graduate from university, it's pretty much just that. Though luckily at least God... I got plenty of games both on consoles and on PC to last me because chances are I might be in South Carolina for quite a while. Now, yes, those blue coins, you can use them to buy shine sprites from these guys down in um, Delfino Plaza. Not sure how they got in contact with them, but... They're there, but I'm not going to mess with the blue coins until probably after I finish this or much later in the game, only because I'm not doing a 100% run on this. There's absolutely no way because I'm going to go mad if I try doing that. And at least last time when I played, I just at least got... I think I got to, like, the last two missions on Pianza Village, so... I think I should be all right going up to them. And you can just clean up a little bit, even though. I know I'm trying to say I'm trying to make this at least somewhat as quick as possible, but, you know. I just like having fun, like, just cleaning everything up, so. You know, let's take out this boss since no need to drag on this Let's Play. One thing you'll notice is that I prefer using the the Y button to, you know, focus and then spray enemies just because I'm not a fan of the whole standing and like that, you know, as I mentioned with those things. But yeah, I just don't like doing this just because it's just kind of in really inaccurate, at least in my opinion. And right there, first level's done. 
yeah, since I'm pretty much hitting a 20 minute mark on this. At least at this point, I might have to split up this, this stage at least, just because you had to do the whole intro and everything. Though in theory, one thing, you can actually go and go straight to the next boss right from this level.